everyone. How are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the VGK.SYS error that you're experiencing on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer when attempting to play or launch Valorant or League of Legends. So this will be a blue screen error that's often affiliated with the system thread exception not handled. So basically, it just means that the error handler did not catch an exception that a system thread generated. So there could definitely be a software conflict at play here. It could be a variety of things. But in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I would suggest doing would be to open up the search menu, type in control panel. Best result should come back with control panel. Go ahead and open that up. Now you want to set your view by, click in there, and you want to select large icons. Select power options. On the left side, select where it says change what the power button does. Shut down settings. If there are any options in here for fast startup that are checkmarked, you want to uncheck them and then select save changes. If you do see it in here, but it's just grayed out, you can select the change settings that are currently unavailable hyperlink and then uncheck that and then select save changes and then hopefully that would be able to resolve the problem. You may also want to consider uninstalling Riot Vanguard and then just reinstall it. So if you go into the search menu, type in programs, select add or remove programs. And now you would want to go ahead, if you had it installed on your computer, search for Riot Vanguard. If you see it in here, I'd recommend selecting the three dotted icon next to it, remove it, completely uninstall it and then reinstall it and see if the issue remains. Something else we can try here as well. If you open up the search menu and type in CMD, best match should come back with command prompt, right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now I will have a command in the description of my video. I want you to copy it and then go up to the top bar of the command prompt window here, right click on it, select edit and paste it in should say the operation completed successfully. Close out of here and then restart your computer at this time. Again, that command will be in the description of my video. So there you go, guys. Hopefully that was a pretty straightforward process. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.